Onc Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onc Live. And how about the role of the oncology nurse? I assume they would play an active role in managing a lot of these toxicities. The oncology nurse is critical in the treatment of patients with uh, cetuximab. And, and as you asked in your question, um, it's management of toxicities and keeping patients on the drug and keeping that dose intensity where they play an absolutely uh, indispensable role. Uh, we, uh, first of all, counsel patients about the toxicities and the oncology nurse is integral in, in that part. Uh, and then as toxicities develop, as they do in the majority of patients, the oncology nurse is that first step that the patient can call, uh, get advice, uh, if, if a new supportive care has to be instituted, it can be done right away. If uh, some other measures such as um, staying out of the sun or beginning some topical therapies need to be started, again, the oncology nurse is right there, accessible, and can begin to manage the toxicities to avoid the need to reduce the dose or interrupt the dose. So I think it's really important to use your nurses optimally. In my clinic, the nurses are asked to do education sessions with our patients. So we have pulled together the tools that we like to make sure patients are given before they start treatment. And then my nurses will go in and they will instruct patients as to what side effects to expect, how to deal with them, and when to call us with a problem. Without the nurses helping in the management, patients are often underinformed, don't have a, a, a sense of, of who they should contact with problems, and they're less confident in dealing with the toxicities of their treatment. I think our nurses go a long way to making our patients feel comfortable with their therapy, comfortable with what to do with the side effects, and comfortable with who do I call if there's a problem.